Hello, teacher. Hello, Renta. How are you today? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good. You? I'm fine, thanks. Okay. What happened yesterday? Didn't see you yesterday. I missed you. Oh. La extrañamos ayer. Sí, no pude conectarme. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. That's good. But you are ready today. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That is great. That we are ready. Let me, I will play the... Um, the video that we were playing yesterday. This is number two. And this is number one. Okay. So this is the, the video that we were, the last video that we watched yesterday. And then we were talking about, we're talking about this. Okay. A conversation to, in, to be introduced. Adjectives. Uh -huh. Bring the adjectives by expressing preferences, right? Mm -hmm. Then, for example, which one do you like better? And you have options, right? When some things you like, or some things that you don't like. And then we also watch this other video. This is pronunciation. So we are going to watch this one. Wait. Yes. The sound. We will study how to express preferences and comparisons. And participants will listen to a conversation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay. Do you have any questions about vocabulary? No. No? no. Okay, good. So let me see then. Now pay attention to the In this lesson, pronunciation. We will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look. These jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, good. Now we went to YouTube. 
we don't want you to. Okay, so then this is, for example, the the conversation about the the topic. Wool one better. The wool that we have for for this sec uh, for this uh, section, right? Which is uh, which one do you prefer, right? So to talk about preferences, okay? Preferences, things that we prefer. And yesterday we said that look at this, look at, uh, let's say, look, this jacket. So you have the jacket, the black jacket and the green jacket. Okay, you have two jackets with different colors, right? Black and green. Then you have two options. Okay, you have two options. Option black and option green. I like the wool one better, okay? Then you have an extra element. The extra element is the material, okay? For example, the material is wool, okay? And the other one is leather. The black one is leather and the, blue, and the wool one is green. Then I said the wool one, why? It looks warmer, okay, it looks warmer. Okay, for example, that is, a, let's say, a more comfortable, right? Más calientita, more warm, it looks warm. Then, well, I like the leather. I like the leather one better. Okay, in this case, better is like más. Okay, say so I like the leather one better, it would be like, me gusta más la de cuero, right? I like the leather one better. And then it's, a, it's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there is no price tag. Okay, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? 499. Okay, would you like to try it on? And say thanks. Okay. So that's the the conversation about to talk about preferences. Well, here with the, where we stopped last night and today. Okay, we have this vocabulary here and a uh, floor can you please read the instructions for this exercise okay teacher okay look at the following picture what are these what are these things made of mm -hmm. identify each one use the word from the list all right, so what are these things made of? What is that question? What information are they asking for? Hmm? What's the information? What's the information that they are requesting? Huh? What's the information? Adjective. Nos están pidiendo de qué material están hechos okay. los objetos. That's correct. Ajá. Okay. Ajá. The material. Okay. What is the information? Material. material. Made of. Uh -huh. What are they made of? Qué están hechos, right? So then they need to know what is their material, right? For example, we have, what are these things made of? Identify each one. Hey, use the words from the, list, from the list. So for example, we have, this one is a bracelet. Okay, the bracelet is for your wrist. Okay, and the material is plastic. Okay, so you have a plastic bracelet. What is the second object? Um, gold? No, the, the object. What is the object? Metal. No, right. the, ob the object is a right. ring. Mm -hmm. The right. object is a ring. 
rain. Okay, it's a rain. And then the material. It's gold. Gold. Okay. Gold. Gold. Uh -huh. gold. Oh, yeah. They have gold, okay? So we have a gold ring, okay? What is the ring made of? The ring is made of gold. A gold ring or a golden ring. What is this object? The name of the object? Tie. It's a tie. tie. It's a tie. Okay. Here we have the tie. Tie and is the center. Tie is this for, for men or for women, right? That we put in around our neck, okay? To look more elegant. Okay? So that is a tie. Okay, you can see here the picture. And the material? It's silk. Silk. Silk, okay, silk. This is the material for this tie. Okay, a silk tie. Okay, you have a silk tie. What about this object? What are these? Shop. Socks, right? Oh, They're socks. socks. Uh huh. These are socks. The chair is a uh, wool. And the material is wool. 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 Okay, wool. Wool. Say here, wool. So this is wool socks. Wool socks. Wool. Then we have another object here. What is this jacket? Uh, this is a jacket, right? We have a jacket in the material. Um, yeah. Leather, right? Leather. Okay, this is a leather jacket. Okay. What about the shirt? What's the material for the shirt? Cotton. 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 Okay, cotton. Here we have the cotton. Good. And the earrings? Silver. The earrings is the color silver. Okay, silver. And the boots? Um, rubber. 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 No rubber, okay? Yes. Right, Robert? No, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> this is ra rubber. 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 Uh -huh. Is the, the, same, the same material for the cars in the wheels? The same material in the llanta de carro, right? Rubber. Okay, what is rubber? Hule, right? You see here the boots are made of rubber. Okay, la bota colibri, remember? Yes, you don't. Okay, boots. So we have rubber boots. Okay, then we have number one is a plastic bracelet. Number two is a gold ring. Number three, a um, silk, a silk tie. Number four, then we have a, where is it, where is it? Wool, okay, wool socks. So we have the wool socks. Number five, we have the leather jacket. Leather. Number six, a cotton shirt. Cotton shirt. Sure. Cotton shirt. Number seven, a silver earrings. Silver earrings. And the next one is? Uh, where is it? Rubber. Rubber boots. Okay. So with this one, you can uh, describe objects. For example, a car is made of what? What objects can we find in the car? Okay. Metal. Iron. Hierro, right? Iron. Rubber. Plastic. Uh, glass. Video, right? What else? What else can we find uh, in the car? Uh, 
oil, aceite, right? Gas. Gas, okay. Copper, el cobre, right? Yes, in the in alambres, right? So we can find this one. And other materials, right? Uh, lead, for example, el plomo. Think in the battery, right? Lead. And all these different, uh, all the different materials that we have for the, to make a, ca uh, a car. To make a house, what is a house made of? It's made of bricks, uh, concrete, what else? Wood, madera, right? Uh, sheet rock, uh, tabla roca, sheet rock, and other, other material. Okay, now let's check here the answers. Then we have the bracelet is, what's the material? Plastic. Plastic, okay. The ring? Gold. Gold. Okay, the gold. The next one, the tie? Silk. 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 Okay, silk. Socks? Um, what? Wool. 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 Yeah, wool. wool. Jacket? What is the jacket made of? Le leather. Leather, correct. Yeah. Yes, leather. Good. Uh, the shirt? Cotton. 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 Yes, the earrings? Silver. 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 The boots? Yeah. Robert. 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 Okay, there we have materials, right? What are some things made of? Plastic, gold, uh, silk, wool, leather, cotton, uh, silver, and rubber. Teacher, ¿cómo, yes. es la, ¿cómo es la pregunta? Eh, yeah, la pregunta yeah. que se hace para preguntar de qué materiales. Here. Uh, Look. Ah, okay. Yeah. What are these things uh -huh. made of? And you can be more specific. If you say. Ah, okay. What. Is your blouse made of? Okay. What is your blouse? Oh, hey, I made an error because let me see. I will repeat it. But is your blouse what is your blouse made of goods okay here okay the question mark what is your blouse made of if it is singular in plural what are your Shoes made of. Okay. What is your blouse made of? Is singular, and the what are your shoes made of? Is in plural. Okay. No problem. 
Okay. Good. So don't forget that when you want to know something, is it what is, for example, a, what is your computer made of? Yeah, made of plastic, probably rubber, metal. Estas tienen oro, saben las de computers. Este tipo de, de uh, este tipo de equipos tienen little pieces of gold, right? Algunas piezas, minimum. Okay, uh, probably silver, lead, glass. glass. Yes, okay. All these different materials. Okay, good. <clears throat> and here we're talking about what something is made of. And then we're going to use it in action, the use of comparative adjectives. Okay, what do you remember about the comparative adjectives? Let's see. There is a video here. Listen, tomen notas, okay, de las preguntas que tengan, and then after we can discuss. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Okay. Any questions? Uh, I will play it again. So lo voy a poner nuevamente so that you can see, right? If you have questions or stuff, because this needs some some repetition, okay? Adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. 
Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the... Which one do you like more? We may say, I prefer... Okay. Look at a sentence. Vean las oraciones. Está clara la explicación. Hay algo que... You need to know. Algo que necesiten ampliar. I don't know. It's okay, teacher. It's okay. All right. Because we are going to go now to the practice. Okay, teacher. Más adelante decía, estos adjectives se escriben con tan al final. Ajá. Ajá, yes. Solo eso se les pone el tan al final. A los otros no. No le... ¿Cómo solo es? Um, porque ahí entendí que va, después del mayor se le pone el tan. O smaller, es, smaller. Ajá, uh -huh, small, uh -huh, small. smaller. Ajá, uh -huh. smaller. Uh -huh. No, es comparative form. Es for all the adjectives. Oh. All the adjectives. Oh, yeah. ya. Yeah. Use the adjective uh -huh. in its sí. comparative uh -huh. form. Wait, wait, wait. Sí, ya me había confundido entonces. Uh -huh. I prefer the leather one. Eh, this is cheaper than, nicer than, prettier than, bigger than, stylish, more stylish than. Eh, remember uh, that this than is como más que. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, más barato que. Okay. Eh, let's say, for example, this one is nicer than, más bonito que. <clears throat> eh, this jacket is más bonita que. Se ve más grande que, okay? Oh, okay. Comparaciones. So is, yes, to make comparisons always. That's what it says. Mm. Comparisons with adjectives. They say cheap, cheaper, mm -hmm. uh, cheaper than. For example, mm -hmm. um, a, a cup of coffee is cheaper than a, a gallon of milk, okay? A chip, uh, uh, let's say, for example, uh, a pair of shoes is cheaper than a watch. Okay. okay. Uh, a, a TV, a TV, well, let me say a TV is cheaper than a car. Okay. Una televisión, okay. un televisor es más barato que un carro en general. Okay. So you can compare cheaper, nicer, prettier. Eh, Preeders también se puede usar para señoras o señoritas o mujeres en general, right? When you say, for example, eh, esta es solo una oración, right? You can say, for example, the, eh, eh, let me see, Demi, eh, no, this one, eh, Demi Moore is prettier than eh, Jennifer Lopez. Okay? Yeah, okay. You compare two people. Okay, yeah, Demi Moore is más bonita que Jennifer Lopez, right? But this is, these are opinions, right? These are opinions, mm -hmm. and that can, depending on the, uh, on the person's uh, uh, perspective, right? Uh, mm, okay, no es que sean okay. cosas certeras, right? Hay cosas okay. que sí, right? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, una laptop, puede haber una laptop más cara que un carro. Mm, no. 
Casi siempre el carro es más caro. Ajá. A menos que la mandemos a hacer de oro con <risa> eh, no sé cuántos gigas y lo que sea, <risa> todo eso, right? Súper especial, yes. maybe, right? <risa> Para un jeque. Okay? Uh -huh. Así como la mía, aquí ahorita. Okay. <risa> <risa> It's like mine. And then, uh -huh. eh, por lo pueden haber excepciones, pero por lo general es, es, es lógica, right? Es lógica. Okay. Digo, esto está más caliente, eh, eh, por ejemplo, voy a decir, esto está más caliente que este, right? This coffee, this cup of coffee is hotter than this cup of milk, ok? Oh, like that. Ok. Aquí, you can aquí se puede comparar lo que usted quiera. Countries, países. Guatemala is bigger than El Salvador, ok? Canada okay. is larger, ok, larger than... Eh, than Central America, okay? Can compare okay. one country with the area. Okay. Okay, thanks. No Which problem. Which one do you like better with this? Cheap, okay. old, and command for you to study the adjectives in English. In Entonces, la fórmula es adjetivo, la ER, que significa more and than. Okay. For example, let me see. Okay, for example, you can say here also new, but you can say. more new okay that's not correct okay this is incorrect then you say newer okay la r que ven ahí es la palabra more okay then you say for example small smaller Okay, you say, uh, let me see. Teacher. Yes. Uh, podemos decir, o sea, the city of Metapan is bigger than Texistepeque. Yes. Then you can say. Es la comparación, va. Uh -huh. eh, Metapan is larger. Se puede usar larger también, más grande. Larger than. Okay, text is okay. Metapan is larger than text is okay. Then you say here is more large. Okay, but in English, I'm going to say that Metapan is more large than text is okay because it's incorrect. Okay. Then you, the guys, you're going to use metapan is larger than that six to okay, okay? Good example. Another one? Otro ejemplo? Think about another example. Con old. Usando all. Si me hace una oración con all. Older. Think about a sentence. Una oración usando older, así como la que hizo Roberto para Metapan. <coughs> ok. ¿Quién se anima?
my grandfather is mm -hmm. is or uh, the my the my father es decir mi abuelo es más viejo que mi papá okay but in English pero en inglés creo que sería my grandfather yes. is older than mm, my father Okay, my grandfather. And my grandfather uh -huh. is older. Okay. Older. Uh, ahí es donde se traba. No sé si es tag, my father. Okay, then. Then my father. father. Okay, no tema equivocarse, okay? Avientes, okay. no problem. <laughs> okay. okay. Complemento, lo último me faltaba. Que no, no estaba pero ya lo sabía. ¿Sabes ah, qué? Yeah. Es, eso es just un poquito de, de práctica, right? Uh -huh, ah, yeah. ya. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Ok, good. Another one. Yeah. New, old. Uh -huh. my, eh, car, my car is older than my neighbor. My car is older, older than my than neighbor. My may okay. Neighbor is a is a person. Sí. Yes. Vecino o vecindario. Vecino. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So my car is older than my neighbor. It's correct. Okay. Good. Uh, one with a uh, new. Newer. One with newer. Okay. My blues is never than my my sister. My my blues. Blouse. Blouse. It's never. It's newer. Newer than my and, sister. Uh, <clears throat> your sister, para personas, you don't use new. I se usa young. Oh. Okay. Okay. Then, ¿qué sería? My blouse is newer than? Mm. My jeans. My jeans. Okay, ahí son los objetos. Okay. Okay. Entonces para personas usamos John. Okay, que sería oh, yeah. younger. Okay. Okay. One sentence with John. Yes. Okay. Yo soy más joven que todos ustedes. Yeah. Yeah. Si, si suman yeah. todas las edades de ustedes, van a ir como 500 años, entonces yo soy más joven. Okay. <laughs> All right. I am younger Pero than uno para uno, brother. no. Okay, I am? I am younger than my brother. Okay, correct. I am, oops, well, you can use the contraction, right? I'm young, um, young, yes, I'm younger than <clears throat> my brother. All right. Okay. I am younger than my sister. I am younger than my boss. I am younger than my best friend. Okay. So you can use all this. Okay, so this is how you compare something. Okay, this is for comparisons. Okay, y pueden comparar lo que quieran, right? Whatever you want. Uh, you can use a small, big, large, fat. Uh, I am fatter than my sister. Soy más gordo que mi hermano. I am taller, shorter, fatter, 
stronger, okay? I am stronger than my brother. Okay, soy más fuerte que mi hermano, so whatever you want. Okay, eh, uh, a Toyota is better than a, than a what? Than a Daewoo. Okay, uh, Lamborghini is better than, than Ferrari. Okay, hey, okay, good. Then we have. comparative form so you're able to compare anything you want I also want you to work them down in a discussion box okay there Teacher. we are yes sir eh, quiere decir que la fórmula es el adjective más eh, lo que vamos a comparar y el y acompañado del dan siempre new. exactly These are adjectives. that's correct Find out Okay, yes, that's correct. Okay, you can see it here. And I think it's here. Okay, here. Adjective plus ER, y el dan, y ahí el con lo que ustedes lo quieran comparar. Okay, the, y lo que quieran comparar antes, right? The house is smaller than the building. Okay. Uh -huh. The let's say the, the what? The minivan is larger than the car. Okay, you are using the comparison. But as adjective adjective er than. Okay, esa es la forma, right? Like in mathematics. Okay. Eh, there are other adjectives, hay otros adjetivos que no llevan ER, que llevan el more. ¿Quién se recuerda? Listen. More beautiful. Ok. Aquí sí es lo contrario y aquí no van a decir beautiful. Ok. Aquí lo incorrecto es beautiful. -er. Ok. Este no existe. This one doesn't exist. Eh, ¿Por qué? La regla es que los, los adjetivos que son monosílabos, monosílabos, ¿qué es un monosílabo? One syllable, right? Un sonido, small, big, new, old, short, fat, thin, eh, what else? Eh, Let me see, far, close, near, ok, todos esos tienen un solo sonido, entonces a todos esos solo se les agrega la ER, ok, ER, cuando ya tienen más de una sílaba, digamos tres sílabas, then you say beautiful, more beautiful more intelligent. Eh, al decir animal. Al decir? Animal. Nunca más. Ah, no, pero ese ya no es adjetivo. Ese ya ah. es, una, ese es un adverbio de tiempo. Ok, I won't be there anymore. Nunca más. Ok, ese es. Ahí ya digamos, ahí no tiene nada que. Ya no es con comparativo. Ah, ok. Ok, el more solo conoce cuando vamos hablando con adjetivos, right? <coughs> Por ejemplo, more beautiful more intelligent, more comfortable, más cómodo, right? You can say, for example, uh, the sofa is more comfortable than the chair. Okay, 
está comparando el sofá y la silla. The, the sofa is more comfortable than the chair. Entonces, then you say more, more comfortable. Okay, if you say comfortable, you want como cuatro syllables, right? View full okay beautiful intelligent okay convenient convenient que es más conveniente more convenient okay this is more convenient than that one Okay, this, uh, this store is more convenient than that store. Okay, this house location is more convenient that, than that house location. All right? Con todas esas palabras, es, siempre se va a ocupar el more. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, porque tienen más de una sílaba. Yes. El inglés no tiene muchas, tiene bastantes excepciones, porque no es como el español que tiene una academia real del, del idioma. Hay excepciones. Por ejemplo, pretty tiene dos sílabas, pero estas se dicen prettier. Ok. Pretty, prettier. En algunas que tienen dos sílabas, van a usar así como este, pretty. Esta es la mínima. Ok, no problem. Ok, with this idea. Now we can anything you want. I also want tips. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay, for example, when you, you when you talk about the, uh, the stores, for example, uh, si yo quiero comprar, uh, let's see, un par de zapatos, ¿qué me recomiendan? ¿O qué tienda me recomienda? Que se llama para Tayot, ¿ok? Yo quiero comprar zapatos en Fifth Avenue. ¿Ok? En Fifth Avenue Store, los zapatos valen como, no sé, 200 dólares, ¿ok? I think, 200 dólares. ¿Ok? Then you say, for example, well, go to... Par dos. Par dos is cheaper than Fifth Avenue. Okay. Or oh, what else? Or ad hoc, maybe. Or I don't know which is another one. Uh, the name of shoe stores. Lee Shoes, maybe. Lee Shoes is cheaper than. Okay. And they say Lee Shoes is cheaper than ad hoc. Or uh, what is the other one? Mundo del Deporte, no, what is the name? Mm. Uh, where you can buy, where you can buy shoes. MD? MD, what is the name? Mundo del Deporte, no. MD, right? Well, MD is, MD is cheaper than ad hoc, or ad hoc is cheaper than MD. Okay, so you can uh, choose then uh, about prices. Probably if you talk about the uh, uh, Selecto Supermarket is cheaper than the Spence Island one, I guess. But uh, what is the one? And Maxi Expense is cheaper than, than Super Selectos and like that, right? And if you go to the market, is Vamos al Mercado, Market Market is cheaper than 
all the other supermarkets, okay? So then that's there. Okay, no problem? Okie dokie. Now, now you tell me sentences, okay? Now you use sentences, for example, uh, some using cheaper, older, and newer. Eh, escriban una oración con cada una de cualquier cosa, pero algo relacionado a ustedes, ¿ok? Usando newer, older, and cheaper. En el chat, teacher. No, eh, escríbanlas y me las dicen oralmente. Ella en su cuaderno o donde quiera, o piénselas, y luego me las dice. ¿Cuáles son los adjetivos que tenemos que utilizar? Eh, newer. Newer. Older. And cheaper. There. Sí. Están en el chat. Newer, older, and cheaper. My, uh, my what? It is my brother, my sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's correct. My husband is older than me. Very good. Okay, remember that older is for people and for objects. Okay. Pero newer is only for objects, okay? Not for people, okay? For people, we have young and younger. Algo arrevesado en inglés, ¿verdad? Old lo podemos usar con personas y con objetos, pero new no se puede. You have to use nuevo y joven. Se puede decir con personas cuando dice, I am a new person. Soy una nueva persona, okay? He cambiado. I have changed. I am a new man, okay? I am different. Okay, ready? That is how many yes, how many children do you have? What? How many children do you have? Zero. No children. Mm, I don't have. Uh, and in the one in the picture? He's my little brother. Your little brother, okay. And how many brothers do you have? Um, three. Three, okay. I have three brothers. Then, and this one is the youngest. What? This is the, Excuse this me? one is the youngest. This is el menor. Yeah. Okay. Then this is the youngest. Aquí es como un superlativo, el menor, the youngest, oh, ok. Teacher. Yes. Yes, who said teacher? Ah, no, pero se considera brother es para hombre, para mujer. Perdón, ¿cuál? Pero, pero, hermano. Uy, no se le corta, no le oigo, no le entiendo. ¿Cuál es para decir hermanos, pero referirse que sean hombres y mujeres? Siblings. 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 Okay, ya se lo voy a escribir en el chat solo. New. Where? Ok, my cell phone is newer than my computer. My shoes are cheaper 
because it's, pure, it's plural, right? My shoes are cheaper. Okay, y para poner hermanos y hermanas es siblings. Okay, siblings. Solo brothers, solo hombres, brothers. Okay, solo hermanas, sisters. Ambos siblings. For example, I have more sisters than brothers. Se puede usar solamente el more. I have more sisters than brothers. Yes, that's correct. My shoes are cheaper than my, dr than my dress. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That's correct. My car is older than my neighbor. Uh, sin an apostrophe S, right? Than my neighbor only? Ah, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Wait a minute. Wait, Robert. In this sentence, when you say, my car is older than my neighbors, aquí está comparando los dos carros, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, okay. Sí. Perfecto, esa es una muy buena oración, porque ahí dice, my, my car, mi carro es más viejo que el de mi vecino, right? Yes, estamos hablando, aunque aparece, si no le ponen el apóstrofe, ese sí compararía a la persona con el carro. Uh -huh. Piense que ese apóstrofe se hace un gran cambio en la oración. Muy buen ejemplo. Thank you. Ok. Uh -huh. My car is older than my neighbors. My computer is newer than my brothers. Uh -huh. And the shoes are cheaper in to than a dog. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Robert. Nice examples. Ok. okay. Flor. Tell me your examples. Yes. Okay. My shoes are cheaper than my cell phone. Okay. My dress is newer than my blouse. Very good. And I am older than my nephew. I am older than my nephew. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Beatrice, your sentences? Mm. Android is cheaper than iPhone. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am older than my sister. All right. My car is new, newer than my house. Okay, my car is newer than my house. Very good examples too. Excellent. Okay, uh, Brenda? Uh, my dress is newer than my blouse. My blouse. No, mm -hmm. uh, my brother is older than sister. Than my sister. Than my sister, okay. Mm -hmm. Older my. That, yes. Uh, my cell, cell phone is cheaper than television. Okay, my cell phone is cheaper than my television. Imagínense qué televisión hay de tener. Porque <laughs> tiene un iPhone... 14. <laughs> ni, ha, ni ha salido. Ok, 12. Era 15, teacher. Era 15. Sí, como va súper avanzada. Ok, ahí con 12. Entonces, yes. y, y es más barato todavía que el televisor. Acá en el, televisor. el tamaño del televisor es el teléfono. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. ok, good. Thank you. Eh, José. Yes. Bye. Okay. My lunch is cheaper than my dinner. Okay. Uh, my father is older than my mother. Perfect. Uh, my motorcycle is newer than my car. Is newer than my car. Okay, very good. Yes. All right, thank you. And then you can also uh, use, for example, the, uh, any, any adjective. In this moment, we were practicing only with three. 
para que agarremos la idea de la estructura de la oración, right? Now you, we can practice eh, with other adjectives. Eh, les voy a mandar al chat, okay, the list of adjectives so that we can practice for tomorrow, okay? Eh, pero se las envío más noche, after my next class, okay? So you can see it tomorrow morning, okay? So this is going to be to practice tomorrow, okay? No es para memorizarla, no es para nada, solo es para to practice, okay? Little by little, you're going to see the differences. Okay, people, thank you very much. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we have a class, remember, mañana es el último viernes. Y luego de ahí, nos vamos a echar todas las fiestas de fin de año, okay, todos los viernes. Para ir desestresando. Okay, pero mañana sí tenemos clase, okay. Ya con eso cubrimos y ya la siguiente vamos de luna a jueves. Okay. okay. Un placer, see you tomorrow, my pleasure. Okay, have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good See you bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you.